Good morning, this is Paul Turner, the Immigration Bastard Imperium Chambers. Today I'm doing a video um, on the DK TOEIC ETS case, which came out a couple of days ago. As anyone that has seen the rather long judgment, um, the appellants in that case lost. Um, they lost uh, on two bases. One, that the Secretary of State maintained the uh, that material relied from ETS could be relied upon. And secondly, the, the appellants were not believed. Um, now, where does that leave us? Well, firstly, there's the issue of whether one want, it, the matter is going to be appealed to the Court of Appeal. Now, appealing it to the Court of Appeal is something that we are considering at the moment because it appears that there are a, a number of flaws in, in the decision, um, but these need to be worked out. Um, if it is going to be appealed and any appeal is lodged and any permission is granted or refused, then I will update you. If, on the other hand, the matter is not to be uh, appealed, where does that leave the vast majority of other people who um, have had uh, false allegations of cheating raised against them? I say false, as um, a, a great number of appeals have been won, and the, uh, a lot of material indicates that ETS is a very unreliable organisation, um, something that perhaps the decision um, uh, doesn't cover in, in its entirety. But in short, if you have um, been accused of a victim uh, of cheating, um, the case of uh, DK and RK does not really affect the original position, which is that if you want to challenge the decision, um, then the Secretary of State will be able to get over the initial burden of proof. But you, if you can, uh, and with a good lawyer's help, um, you can provide evidence and persuade a judge um, that you didn't cheat, then you will still win your appeal, which can still lead to indefinite leave to remain. So in short, whilst the actual outcome in DK and RK at the moment is not actually that helpful, um, it doesn't make the position any worse for individuals who have been uh, alleged to have cheated. Um, they're in the same position that they were um, before the case of DK and RK. And indeed, there were many appeals that took place during the um, uh, DK and RK process where the appeal took uh, the best part of a year to be heard and concluded. Um, so, uh, and their appeals went on and their appeals were allowed. So, um, it, it, this is an unwelcome decision, but it is not the end of the DK and RK and ETS and TOEIC scandal. Um, the fact of the matter is that there are serious questions, marks over ETS. And the fact of the matter is that if one can provide a plausible explanation, one will win one's appeal, which can lead to a grant of indefinite leave to remain, as has happened to many of my clients during the process and during the waiting for the outcome of the decision of DK and RK. So in short, if you have an, an allegation of dishonesty against you, the case of DK and RK is not a silver bullet by a way of the government by which that they can win automatically. It just means that the law remains the same, i.e., that you will need to provide good evidence through a good lawyer to show that you didn't cheat. And if you do that and the judge believes you, you will win your case, you will be granted leave to remain and potentially qualify for indefinite leave to remain. If you have any questions on this matter, um, please get in touch with me. As I say, uh, if we are going to appeal the decision, then I'll be doing a video on the appeal. Um, and if permission is granted, obviously I will let everybody know that it's granted. But at the moment, um, if you are in the position, as I say, where there is an allegation against you, it is not the end of the road. You will need to continue to fight the matter if you want to stay in the United Kingdom and you want to clear your name. And I am more than happy to help. Thank you for watching this video. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.